Hey, Huckster here. Got my candy. <clears throat> uh, I was talking with a friend last night. It's a good friend. He's a young man. He's in his mid 20s. And, uh,. We have some pretty good conversations about God and the Bible and the Word of God. He doesn't believe in hell. Uh, but he asked me if, if hell did exist. Wouldn't I still have to accept it and believe. No, I would not. I would know that Christianity was false. We might as well be putting bones in our nose and dragging people up to a volcano and throwing them in. We might as well be opening up their hearts as the minds did and ripping it out while it's still beating and sacrificing it to a sun god because hell would make Christianity pagan. It's not a concept taught by Christ or the apostles. It's not a concept that's anywhere in the Old Testament. The wrath of God was coming down on the nation of Israel. That's what the Old Testament explains that to you. And the New Testament does too if you, you can just catch it. But you can't because you come into Christianity, most people from there, and they, they testify of their life how God wasn't in their life. And now, in order to get their reward, they would even go as far as to serve a God that would torture people for eternity. If they were people with bones in their nose, they would sacrifice people to volcanoes to get their reward of good crops or whatever. If they were Mayan, they would rip people's hearts out to get their reward. They fear a God that is pagan. And they call him the God of Christianity. I think it's a blemish, a huge blemish on the name of God to even believe that he would torture one of his children in a fire for one millisecond, much less for all eternity. The Canaanites sacrificed their children to the fire god Moloch, and God told them that they were worshiping devils and demons. Devils and demons were idols. That's what they worshiped. They worshiped it worshiped it to get something, to get a reward. They could sacrifice living humans, their own children. Christians today speak it as, and, and it flows. And I watched so many videos in the past, not so many today. I believe Christians today on YouTube especially are trying to get away from hell because it's not a good topic to talk about, yet they believe in it. But I watched so many videos when Christians would say, hell, a big smile would come on their face. Something as terrible as this reality would have to be if it were true seemed to bring a smile to their face. They fear the fire god, Mullox, what it is. They have to appease the gods by saying they believe in this terrible idea, man-made idea, in order to be Christian. And I'm attacked a lot. 
this past week by uh, Kingdom of God is Coming, I think was his name. The Judgment of God is Coming, may have been what it was. You go to his website and, and all you can see is people talking about going to hell or going and returning and, and each of them have a different story of what hell is. Uh, you know, he says he I was easy for him to discern and, and figure out how wicked I am. You know, one of his videos he has evidence of a ghost. And in the video, there's two bright lights and the and I mean a, an angel. I'm sorry, not evidence of an angel. And and there's two bright lights. These people are out in a field or something, but the angel moves with every camera move. It's a glare on the camera. But he can discern me, and he can't even discern that that glare on the camera is not an angel. It's a glare on the camera. But yet these people are so gullible. so easily deceived that they they might as well start sacrificing people because they believe the one true God of the universe is going to peace love justice and music